Hey everyone, my name is Shreel Shah and I'm a Scale Solutions Engineer here at Databricks. Today we're going to talk about Databricks Asset Bundles, which can be used for CACD on Databricks. Databricks Asset Bundles are a collection of YAML files that specify the different components of a Databricks project. Typically, when we think about what composes a Databricks project, it can be broken down into three main things. The first is the code itself. The code can be written in notebooks, it can be Python wheel files, jars, DBTs, etc. The next component will be the actual resources itself. This can be composed of Databricks jobs and workflows, machine learning experiments, or ETL pipelines. And the last piece is the execution environment itself. So what is the target workspace that you're trying to deploy your assets to? What are the different compute and permission configurations for each target, etc. And all three of these things come together in this single Databricks asset bundle via a bundle.eml file, which is going to specify each of those different components and act as the orchestrator for what gets deployed to each of your different environments. In a typical CACD process, you could have a three-tier branching strategy where you have a dev, main, and then for your production deployments, you have a release branch. For your dev branch, this could be tied to your dev workspace. In dev, there might be a need to have a single node cluster since you don't want to run up unnecessary compute costs. You don't want to introduce any schedules in development mode and Typically, users have permissions to deploy things freely in dev. Once things are looking good in dev, you can open up a pull request to your main branch in which main is tied to your staging environment. In staging, maybe you want to mimic things in production, so you up the tier of, for the configuration for the cluster. Maybe you introduce a weekly schedule. And as best practice, you want to run against a service principle itself. Once everything is looking good in your staging environment, then you are ready to go to production. You create another pull request for your release branch. And within the release branch, this is going to be tied to your production workspace. Obviously, in production, this is going to be your highest tier of configurations. So you're going to up the amount of cluster com compute. You're going to introduce your daily schedules. And once again, as best practice, you're going to run as a service principle. The bundle definition file is composed, as you see on the screen here. Typically, this is going to be composed of all the different resources that you want to deploy to your target environments, as well as the specific environment-based configurations for each of your environments. You could have as many different targets as you want, and you can also do target environment-based overrides at the target level. Now we will jump into a hands-on demo where we showcase Databricks asset bundles in the workspace itself. Here I am in my Databricks workspace, and within my user folder, I am going to start off by creating a Databricks asset bundle. In order to create an asset bundle from the UI, you need to have a folder which is tied to a Git repository. So over here, I have a dbx-repos which is tied to a Git folder. So if I open this up, we can create our first asset bundle. In the top right, I will click on the Create drop-down button and I will choose Asset Bundle. There are pre-configured templates that you can get started with or you can choose an empty project and then add your own files within that folder itself. For my bundle, I will call this Demo Dabs. And for the template itself, I will start off with a default Python template. I will click on next, I will choose demo as the name of the bundle, and I'll choose default Python as the template. And <clears throat> for the actual bundle itself, I will choose the different configurations that I want. I don't need a sample Python wheel file, so I'll exclude that, but everything else looks good. In the bottom, I will choose the create button. Great, so now we have our dabs project created within our Git repos. So if we take a look here, we can see the different files that automatically got created from the template. If I open this one up, we can see that these are different files, and if I open up the databricks.yaml file, this will be the single orchestration file for what gets deployed to each of our targets. If we take a look at this, we have two targets for our sample demo. We have a dev target and then we have a production target. You'll see that both of them are pointing to the same URL in the case of this demo, but obviously for other use cases, these would be different workspaces that you're trying to deploy to. If we take a look at our dev target, we've specified that we want the mode to be development. This will make sure that all workflows and resources are paused by default in terms of schedule, and it'll also append, prepend dev and then the name of the user that did the deployment. For production, we don't want that behavior, so we will specify the mode to be production. If we take a look at our resources folder, we'll see that we have two resources that got created. We have a job, and then we also have a ETL pipeline. And if we open up the source folder, we see that we have the source code for both of those resources. Now, once I am ready to deploy, I will go to the deployments tab here and simply click on deploy underneath the specified target. I want to deploy to dev, so I will hit deploy. It'll prompt me to review the changes that will be deployed, and it will say that the two resources will be created within my dev target. I will click deploy and we'll see that the resources should get deployed to dev and the deployment has completed. So now if I navigate over to my jobs and pipeline section, I should see the two resources that got created. And here they are, the demo job and the demo pipeline both got deployed to my dev target. So this is how you can use Databricks asset bundles in the UI for CI/CD on Databricks. Thanks.